just got in from uh, 36 hours of travel coming from Colorado and uh, we're here in uh, San Romolo, Italy. Going to do some testing with Giant tomorrow and got some uh, cool new parts for the boys to test out, but uh, not too many details to come just yet. Dave and Paul have been prepping the bikes. Um, they kind of pre-built them before coming here because we shipped some parts ahead. But since John came with so much new stuff, uh, they've been staying up and, and getting all the new stuff on the bikes. And this is basically a brand new, fresh version of the bike that Danny rode in Champery with the same base settings as he won Worlds on. And we're going to start the testing there. We've got some new brakes for him to test. Uh, a new rear to railer. We've got some new suspension as well. A new rear shock for him to ride. Uh, a new fork as well. This guy right here. So as we're going through the, uh, the test session, we'll be starting with the uh, suspension he rode in the past, and then we can go to the fresh suspension and get the setting started for the uh, first race in Peter Maritzburg. I've ridden here a few times when I was on Lapierre and then a few weeks previous to now with my mechanic Dave. We've got some good riding, some hard tracks. It's like really physical. If you can get your bike set up here, you know you're good for, you've got a good base setting for everywhere. And, and yeah, I love the place. I mean, it's it beats you up. It's good physical training as well and good for the bike. Well, not good for the bike, good testing for the bike. It works the bike hard. The last month's been pretty busy. Did a couple of local races at home. I've got some nice riding at home, but it's never World Cup level. So I've heard it's pretty brutal, it's rocky, but uh, good for testing, so. so I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, the first impression, I couldn't believe how silent the bike was. I thought the chain had fallen off. It's sort of annoying because I feel like I should be it should be making loads of noise the faster I go, but it's just getting quieter and quieter. And it's just like like a train over all the rough stuff, so yeah, I can't complain at all. So this morning, we're gonna get uh, Danny's power meter installed. We got the uh, power meter itself, based on an XODH crank. We're gonna get that installed, and also the uh, head unit. We're gonna get that mounted up on its rec mount stem so we can get all the uh, information on board the bike. So on the new fork, uh, which also runs a little smoother, well, we made some rebound changes to kind of slow the fork down so when he hit that stuff, the wheel will stay in contact with the ground instead of trying to extend and pushing him up in the air or pushing him awkwardly. So that helped quite a bit. Uh, we have a new variable that uh, we haven't had access to externally on the rear shock that will change the way the bike rides at the end of the travel and then uh, just the way the rear wheel reacts to the ground. They're going faster. I think Danny might have had one of his fastest runs here in San Romo so far. But all you hear is tires. Like there is no noise going up on track. I've never heard a downhill bike be that quiet before. And the guys are loving it. They're thinking that there's something wrong or they're not going fast enough because they have no noise from the bike. And they just think they're cruising when in fact they're flying. Well, we're just about to get in the van and drive home. Needles is... I'm just going to dr drive the van to South Africa. Danny's going to fly gonna in. I'm sit and watch the DVD. Oh, are you coming around? with? Yeah, That's yeah, all right. yeah, I'll ride with you. You know the way, right? Yeah. I bloody hope so. Just south. <laughs> Isn't it? What's it's been done before.